You guys like feeling like a giraffe in a phone booth while trying to use your RV shower? Well, neither do we. And that's why today we're talking about five things that drive us absolutely crazy when it comes to this Coleman 17B. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new here, take a minute to like and subscribe down below. It really helps a small channel out like ours. Uh, you're going to get a lot of helpful camping tips, RV tips, campground tours, camping adventures, things like that. So go ahead and hit that button for us now. We really appreciate it. Now, before we go into full-on bash mode on the Coleman here, uh, there are plenty of reasons, way more than five, that we absolutely love this camper. And you guys can check out those down in the playlist below. First up on the list, the small shower, or as I like to call it, the claustrophobia chamber. Showering in this thing is like playing a game of Twister. The shower curtain's sticking to you, the shampoo bottles are getting knocked over, you gotta stick your head up through the skylight. So certainly don't think about buying one of these for the hot, relaxing shower you're gonna get in it. It's really a situation where it's just in and out, kind of get cleaned up, that kind of thing, in a, in a last ditch effort if they didn't have any at the campground. Typically, we don't even use it, and we stick to the campground showers. There's way more room in there, uh, longer lasting hot water. So definitely something to consider before purchasing one of these. While we're in the bathroom, let's go ahead and talk about number two. Well, not that number two. There's a video up here that you guys can check out on that. I'm talking about number two on the list. And the fact that Coleman conveniently forgot to put a bathroom sink in the design. Brushing your teeth? Eh, don't, for, don't worry about it. Just try not to get any in your bacon and eggs or... Trying to wash your face? Go ahead and set up a vanity here in the kitchen. Classy, right? Lack of bathroom sink really does have its drawbacks, and it's not something we really thought about before. It certainly makes you be creative as far as storage and things you'd put on your vanity. Another thing you guys might want to consider is the only sink you're going to have in the camper is the one right here in the kitchen. Number three, the kitchen window. Now it's big, it's modern, it's sleek, it's tinted, but guess what? It doesn't open, like, at all. There's no way to open it. There's no clasp on it. It doesn't slide open. Nothing. Um, I'm not sure if Coleman thought somebody was going to sneak in here and steal all our pots and pans or something like that, but I don't think it would have cost them a lot of money to make it a slider like there is over here on this side or even something that pops open like on the back bunk. Considering this is the only window on the whole side of the rig, it kind of stinks that you can't open it and at least get a cross breeze in here or something like that especially on the nights that aren't super hot and you need your ac the only other option is to leave the door open and and something tells me that's not a great plan number four on the list no gas furnace in these coleman 17 b's there's only an electric fireplace now i'm not saying we don't have any heat this thing will burn the boogers right out of your nose but what if you're on a site that doesn't have electricity well then you're kind of up the creek one of the biggest reasons we bought a smaller camper in the first place was to not be restricted by certain sites that were available. Now what we have to consider is in early fall, or I'm sorry, late fall or early spring, neither one of us really have the desire to camp on anything without electricity. Just for the fact that it's cold, it's chilly. We used to use a buddy heater. Uh, I'll show you a picture of that up here. They're working a pinch, but it's nice to be able to have a thermostat and set your heat so it can come on and off while you guys are sleeping, not have to get up throughout the night. And really just peace of mind, not have to worry about there being any issues. We really do wish that this did have a gas furnace that came along with it. You know, they supply solar power hookups and things like that. And really you're kind of limited as far as going off grid without having a furnace. Speaking of electricity, number five is the lack of outlets inside and really outside of the rig. There's a few outlets in here and one outside. And in today's times when you're using laptops and cameras and phones and you need all sorts of chargers for the scooters, that's really kind of inconvenient. Camping with the kids is great and all until there's only one outlet open and there's two phones that need charging and then all of a sudden we're in the apocalypse. It'd be great to have a couple plugs, like maybe in the back of the rig at all, you know, the bunkhouse where they use them. So, or there's nothing quite like running an extension cord all the way across for you to trip over in the middle of the night when you're trying to use the bathroom. 
Guys, let us know down in the comment section if your rig actually has everything in it or if there was things you would wish were different about it. Uh, we know it's pretty difficult to find one that has every option that you are looking for. Typically, you got to make a sacrifice here and there, and some things may not be the way that you wanted them originally. Uh, we do love our Coleman 17B so much, despite everything you heard in this video, that we went ahead and created a little bit more floor space, and you guys can check that video out here to see how it's done.